This is the dry room and um, all our timber before it's used is brought in here first and it has two effects. One is that it stabilises the wood, the other is that it dries it right out and enables us to see any defects or cracks that may be in the wood, anything um, a little bit funky. So we can, we can either um, pull it out and not use it first or we can fix it. Okay, before we start work on any guitar, we produce a make sheet and this lists all the details of that instrument. Anything that deviates from, from a pre-specified um, model, we highlight so that we can be extra sure it won't be uh, missed. This one, for example, is a custom order Linville and you can see that um, it's got a back centre strip, it's got a European spruce top, which is not standard, and it has an English U back, which I can actually show you is right here. Um, Sam will take these um, make sheets for the month and he'll reach out the wood. He will actually take it out of the dry room and bring it in to the main workshop environment about two weeks before we uh, commence work and it has a chance to adjust to its uh, new environment before we start on it. Here we have a lovely piece of um, European flamed maple. Um, this has been deep sawn and um, we open it out like a book and it will be jointed like this. This is called book matching and this happens to the back and the top. This is a piece of Alaskan Sitka spruce that's been jointed and sanded and is ready to be cut out. actual tops have been cut out and they've been laser cut and it's a very accurate method of um, doing this and uh, in this top we also have location pin holes which will be used to locate the tops onto jigs for other processes in the construction of the guitar. This is a back that we've made out of a lovely piece of English U. As you can see it's been jointed, it's been cut out to shape, it's had a centre reinforcement strip glued onto the inside. This is for strength and um, it's had the rebates cut out and this is where the, uh, the reinforcing bracewood will go on the inside of the bag. We're going to glue the braces onto the inside of this uh, English yew wood back. Uh, we're going to use this bag press um, and on the base of this press is um, a machine block uh, which has a 15 foot radius in it. Uh, this will help to give the back its shape. Uh, the braces that we make in-house uh, from quarter saw European spruce also have this 15 foot radius machined into them and they're finished off by hand on the opposite surface. So we're going to glue these braces onto this back right now. Okay, now it's been in the bag press for 12 minutes. Um, halfway through we opened it up and cleaned off the excess glue, um, so now we can turn the, turn the vacuum pump off. This is starting to give the back its, um, its 15 foot radius now. Okay, this top is um, just about finished and ready to be glued on to the sides of the instrument. Uh, the rosette's been inlaid. We've glued on the uh, bracing in much the same method as we used with the back, with the same bag press with a different radius former. This is uh, flatter, it's less, less dished, it's a 30 foot radius on the top. Um, and after all the bracing is actually glued on, it's all hand sanded so that the sharp edges are all knocked off 
and um, we think this improves the tone of the instrument.